I'm standing right now about 22 miles from First Baptist Church in a little place that's called New Hagerstown. It's hard to imagine as you look around that this place used to be a thriving little town 150 years ago. And now as you look around, there's just a, a few houses. You can see an old building right back here in, in this direction. You know, really about the only thing that would let you know that this place had life is ironically enough, a, a cemetery that's not real far up the road. And this historic marker right here that talks about days gone by and what was taking place in this very location. In fact, one of the interesting things about this place and one of the reasons that we're here at this moment is the history of this little place has everything in the world to do with the history of First Baptist Church. And let's take just a second to, to walk you back to a different point in time when this was a thriving place. This little marker says, the new Hagerstown Academy built on this site in 1837 operated as a fully qualified educational institution until the turn of the century. It offered a well-round curriculum and some of the most eminent physicians, lawyers, educators, and business administrators of those days received their training here. The last principal of the academy was Professor John Howard Brown. And you know, the reason that all of this has any significance to us is back in 1858, it was a group of believers from this thriving little town and the Baptist church that was just up the road there, a group of believers in that church, along with some believers in uh, a church in Warren Township, had a vision of planting a church. You see, between New Hagerstown, right here where I'm standing, and New Philadelphia, 22 miles away, was a stagecoach route, and this, of course, was one of the, the stops, and. And again, it's just, it boggles my mind that there was a, a college in this town that was, was training thousands of students and a little store across the way and even record of a saloon and just everything that you would imagine back in the, the mid 1800s. But the next stop from New Hagerstown was a place called New Philadelphia. And the believers in this little Baptist church in this area evidently had been on that stagecoach and had gone to our city and recognized that there wasn't a Baptist church in that area. And so they began to pray about God using them to plant a church in New Philadelphia. And in 1858, that group of believers band together and came to New Philadelphia to begin what was at that time the regular Baptist Church of New Philadelphia. We didn't actually get our name until the late 1800s, uh, somewhere around 1898, I think it was, when it actually became called the First Baptist Church. But the thing that's so significant about that to me is here we are approaching our 150th anniversary as a church. And one of the things that is so important to us is this thing of planting churches. You know, as you walk this little town and you see the fact that nothing is taking place here today, you just begin to think to yourself, what if back in 1858, that group of believers wouldn't have had the vision of planting that church in New Philadelphia? The thing that is so strange here is though the church in New Philadelphia has been there almost 150 years now. There's no Baptist church in this town. And in fact, there's no church at all. And remember a few moments ago when we were talking about the, the, the old building back here, that used to be the, the Presbyterian church way back in its day. And uh, this, this college that was here, it was all connected with that, that Presbyterian church and it, there's not a Presbyterian church, not a Baptist church, not, not anything. And you know, I, the way that it works in, in my mind, I just, I just think to myself, 
if they wouldn't have had that vision, if God wouldn't have prompted that, there would be no church in existence today. But Hagerstown has significance today because those believers had that vision. And here we are approaching our 150th anniversary. And strangely enough, God has prompted our hearts as a church to embrace as one of our core values, the reproduction of churches. And it's so important to us that we embrace this as a, a value that is something that we will not compromise. If we are going to be able to see the world come to Christ, we've got to think in terms of exponential reproduction. That, that means every single one of us reproducing ourselves and making disciples, but the, the natural outgrowth of that has got to be the reproduction of churches that goes all over out of the immediate area, out of Tuscarawas County, even to the uttermost part of the earth. You know, I, I believe with, with all of my heart that we are living in the very last of the last days. That means that if we're going to see the world come to Christ, we, we've got to have an urgency about us. We, we've got to think in terms of exponential reproduction. But you know, if for some reason, if maybe we've, we've miscalculated and maybe there's gonna be another 50 years, we've gotta make sure that what we hand to the next generation of, of young people in our church is this vision of reproducing churches just like we see being done in the book of Acts, just like a group of believers did in New Hagerstown almost 150 years ago. May those that come behind us, may they find us faithful to what God has called us to be and what God has called us to do. I'm standing right now about 22 miles from First Baptist Church and as you look around, mm -mm. I, I, nope. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say, man. <laughs> okay. You want to do a blooper reel? <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to mess us up? <laughs> that The car, are you getting a lot of that? I'm standing right now about 22 miles away from First Baptist Church in a little town that's called New Hagerstown. You know, it's hard to imagine that this much traffic could be coming into this vicinity right now, but it is. We'll let the dog get it out of get this out of its system. <clears throat> Educators and business administrators of those days received their training here. The new Hagerstown Academy, built on this site in 1837, doggone it. <laughs> and some of the most eminent physicians, and some of the most eminent, <laughs> and some of the most eminent physicians, lawyers, educators, the last principal of the academy was Professor John Howard Brown. The last principal of the academy was Professor John Howard Brown, and I'm going to kill me a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, man. This as a core value, let's back up. 